Liverpool Airport handles in excess of 5 million passengers per annum. That's around 20,000 on a typical day and that encompasses approximately 80 passenger aircraft movements every day. The runway is 40 years old and uh, it was due to have some significant major maintenance carried out on it. Uh, the main part of the surface was showing signs of deterioration and we also wanted to and strengthen the runway to attract a greater range of traffic. From an engineer's perspective it was an interesting and challenging project because we had to slot it in during what is in effect a 24-hour busy airport. Clearly Tarmac's track record working at airports and particularly carrying out runway resurfacing which is a very specialist area uh, seemed to be the best around in the UK. Well, Tarmac were responsible for resurfacing and upgrading the runway at Liverpool Airport. Um, we also resurfaced and upgraded the taxiways, including the one that runs parallel to the runway, and we're also involved in upgrading the drainage works that are required at the side of the runways. Tarmac's role was to deliver successful material construction compatibility to the CAP 168 standard. That involves trialling of materials, set up of batching plants, weighing of material, removal of surface and material throughout each night's progress. Uh, Liverpool Airport specified the working hours that would be available to the project team and to Tarmac. Uh, that was necessary to maintain the day-to-day -day business and keeping passengers in the air. To work around the airport's operating hours, we did the work five or six nights a week throughout the winter months, which is the airport's quietest time. From Tarmac's point of view, the way they approached the job was that they really put in new plant, new equipment, and they had the correct resource right from day one. The only way really to provide the quality and the output for the client was by erecting our own two asphalt plants actually out on site. This was done then with a fleet of 40 to 50 trucks which were out there every night and the total number of people was probably in the region of about 130 as a maximum each night. The biggest problem we had at Liverpool Airport was the overall construction detail. As part of the design there was a significant overlay of material on the runway, far greater than is the norm. And it wasn't just a replacement of the surface course, but significant reconstruction of the pavement itself. Well, from design, initially what happened was um, we were given plenty of notice after we'd secured the contract. So we were actually working with the client for months before the contract actually started. This enabled us to have a lot of input into the design. Tarmac's materials engineers, project management team, myself, really went into some depth into getting the most suitable material for the job that would work in inclement weather conditions as, as well as normal weather conditions, bearing in mind the time of year that we tackled the project. One of the innovative materials we used on the project was we used a Tarmac material called Foam Master, which we laid in the shoulders at the side of the runway. Um, we used the material that we took off the existing runway and remixed it into a macadam that was then laid on the shoulders. Uh, this is the first time we're aware of that this has ever happened uh, on a runway contract in England. One of the biggest challenges that we have is to maintain friction in the runway during construction and post-construction. The grip on runway surface is critical. Um, the material we lay has a very smooth finish and it has to have grooves cut into it uh, to ensure that all the water is shed from the runway. The layers that go underneath it, uh, we put a grip tester machine on those every couple of days just to make sure that they would comply with the specification. And at any stage we never had more than 350 metres of the runway ungrooved at any one time, which was three nights in advance of all follow-up operations. Uh, the feedback's been excellent, uh, primarily from the pilots uh, who were perhaps a little critical in the past 
um, what we term rideability, that's the smoothness of the ride, which is perhaps what as a passenger you most feel, that's been radically improved and the pilots sense that as well, so that feedback's been excellent. I think the performance we achieved on the runway um, was exceptional and we've had that passed to us by the designer and the other people we've worked with as well. The fact there were no remedials in the contract whatsoever and we actually delivered what we said we were going to deliver. What we offered was, um, was a lot of experience on runways all around the country um, and a fantastic team that we put on board that was second to none and they proved this by going on to deliver what we believe is a, is a fantastic runway.